Hello, everybody. My name is Paul Anthony Williams, or you can call me Paul, and we're just going to get right into it. We're just going to go to the next dungeon right now. As soon as, as soon as I step out. And then I'm just going to play the emergency talk of time so that we have enough time to, uh, you know, do what we have to do. And we're just going to warp to Economy Cannon right now. Because uh, last part, we uh, got to the top, and before, you know, you know, we got to Stone Tower Temple. Yeah, sorry, that's the name of the gym. We were doing Stone Tower Temple today. Alright, so before, before we start, you know, just gonna take this off. You know, some bombs. arrows. Nah, I think we're good. Okay. So, just gonna do this. Alright, so, uh, you may think, oh, do you have to, uh, build, like, a like a long, do you have to build, you have to put these blocks in place so you can get over there? Uh, yeah, you could, but I'm not going to. What you can do is that you can just play this song right here. LG of emptiness. And I just like to uh, walk over here. I guess I played too fast again. Then then you just play the song like this. You know, move your statue over. That And we're inside. You know, it's a pretty neat trick. All right, we're inside. So uh, I say this, this is probably my favorite temple in this game. It's not necessarily long, but it does incorporate every power you have, basically. Well, besides ice arrows, but. But think of this temple like for Human Link, which is kind of redundant because all te temples are sort of like for Human Link. So you just need a combination of all your forms. Ah, you jerk. As always, there are 15 stray fairies in this dungeon. Here's the first one. So we just need to go in here. Alright, time for the bomb. Well, I guess I didn't need it. Alright, so uh, with this box, there are about, there are about four, four switches that you, they have to get on and, you know, sort of you use or sorry press down now unfortunately speaking uh, Deku Link cannot uh, push down the switch by himself he is too light apparently so so they basically sort of give you a box that, that will that you can lift and just put it there now in the 3ds version of this game uh, that box is replaced by a block that you have to pull <laughs> Which I'm like, why, why not just let Deku Link push down switches? <laughs> that way you guys don't have to put a block there. Alright, so just gonna do this. Oh yeah, I guess there's something at 10 o'clock that we... That that to wait till 10 before before I uh so so we, we can uh use one of the masks to get like a heart piece but but that's not gonna be like for a while all 
All right, so display the allergy of emptiness, and there we go. Alright, so this patch of this this ground is a bit different. And that you can that you can uh basically sort of just bomb it. Well not sort of, you have to bomb it. Uh, I don't need the stairs. I have Goron. Alright, so take off the mess, reflect this. Now I'm going to get back to the Goron Mass because uh, okay, not these things because we can punch these things Now of course you can always just hide like this so that way it, it blows up Hey, I got a bomb in return And I think if I remember correctly you can hookshot this Ah, uh, okay, there it is. There's the hookshot spot. Just gonna... I was in my line of sight. There we go. Alright, this is our second stray fairy. Alright, go away. So there's something in this chest. I uh, wonder what it is. All right, just the map. And there's the key that we need to move on to the next room too, which is nice. Unfortunately. All right, so all we have to do is just roll over there. All right, so unfortunately, uh, we don't—I don't have the means to go over there. Hopefully, this bomb should be enough. Give it a second. Okay, it's not. Never mind then. I'll I'll just be, I'll just be wasting bombs all day if I keep doing it like that. Hey, Miss Hang, do you think you can help me a little bit? Luckily, that doesn't do any damage. Anyway, I know this. I know that trick. Just do this. Anyway, I'm not too worried about wasting time here, actually. In fact, I kind of want to waste time. Ain't getting me. Alright, that's gonna land. Down here seems good. Now, when I hit this switch, it should do it. It should unlock it. Anyway, time to surface. After I hit him. All right, come on, let me surface. All right, just climb up here. Alright, this mirror is actually kind of special. So when you reflect in the... Hold on, let me get closer a bit. When you reflect in this mirror, it, it, it absorbs light for a little while. Then when you unreflect it, light comes out. It will be used in several different types of puzzles.
Now we just need to open this chest up. Alright, compass. And that basically just puts us back into the previous room. Alright, this room can be a bit tricky to do. First off, we need to punch this away. Now we just need to get rid of these guys. Now we need, now we just need to reflect this mirror right here for a little bit. I'm just gonna wait. Till I have plenty of time. Alright, that's, that, that's long enough. Come on, reflect the block, reflect the block. Cause you have a time limit for how long you can reflect those. I mean, that you can put light into those mirrors. All right, go away, you fake Goron. All right, there's our another. There's another fairy. Uh, do I need the mirror shield for this? No, it must be a switch. Alright, now those enemies will keep respawning, so this is why this, this part might be a bit difficult. Alright, just gonna do this for as long as possible. Okay, that's enough. Alright, hopefully this will be enough time. Okay, all or nothing. Okay, because sometimes those enemies can get real annoying. Alright. Alright, I have enough of you. Ah, uh, you know what? Just score and punch it. Ah, uh, man, I took that like a champ. Is there anything on the ceiling? Cause, oh wait, now I remember. I need to reflect on one of these suns. I think it's that one, no? Okay, what about this one? This one's got, this one's got to be it. Okay, that's it. Cause there could be a stray fairy in there. That's why I'm uh, making sure. Alright, this is the fourth one. Okay, I remember this one. Alright, first off. You need to go on roll to the other side. Ouch. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, it's right over there. Okay, so you need to flip that switch. Now, now we're now we have a time limit to uh, get to that other side. Otherwise, the fire will uh, come back. I guess this fire is hotter than this lava because I don't know why. All right, hopefully, uh, all right. Second, t second time's the charm. I got this. All right, stop, break. And that will cause that fire to uh, go stop. But now, now for the next thing we have to do is just climb up there. Now I'm just gonna get the uh, Deku mask ready.
time for us to uh, fly up there, but yeah. Now we just need to fly over. Probably telling us, hey, there's money over here. Alright. Alright, guess we're doing this backwards. Alright, need to make a sharp turn. You actually have to get into this hole, otherwise you won't have enough speed to uh, make it. Okay, good. That chest is still uh, not on fire, but you know. Alright, so let's do this again. Going to make a sharp turn. Oh, come on. Uh, well, thank God I don't have anything better to do. Come on, let's do this. Because <laughs> I don't know why, but falling forward makes it makes you go forward a bit faster for some reason. All right, so this is the sixth fairy. Uh, just getting some rupees just because. All right, now it's time for the mini boss. All right, come on. So I like to pull out the shield. Then when he does his dash, I side jump to the side. You know, do the jump slash since that does more damage. Okay, when he does this, roll away, and then hit him. Do you think I could be defeated? Although, although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If you shoot that which releases the sacred golden light into the stained, blood-stained red emblem outside of the temple, it shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget these words. Die I shall, leaving no corpse. That is the law of us, Garo. Alright, so before you know, we do the other half of the dungeon, uh, there's some stuff in Clock Town I want to take care of. But before we go to stuff in Clock Town, I want to at least get the get the fairies that I missed. So we have the light arrows. All right, so just up here real quick. Uh, I, re I recognize I recognize this. Take this out. And just stab him like that. Alright, so there's a crystal right here, so... So, saving me some time, I'm gonna put a bomb right here. It has a big enough hitbox to blow up the crystal. Alright. Ooh. Uh, that kind of felt, felt strong in my ankles. Eh, rupees are always good. Here's our seventh shape fairy. Man, this has some distance. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do in here. Okay, uh, it's time that we busted out those li that light arrow. 
As well as uh, backtrack a little bit through this dungeon. So, I'm going to say light arrows, they do a bit more damage than fire and ice arrows. So, uh, if you were me trying to take care of that bird, now would be a good time to go refight that bird. And, you know, take his, mo take his money. Alright, here's our eighth stray fairy. And we're basically sort of back to... Yeah, we're back to where uh, we were. But before that... You know, just take care of him. Uh, we want to shoot this. We want to shoot the light... We can also shoot the light arrows at, at the sun, which automatically gives us, you know. Alright, but we'll get to that but we'll get to that chest later, but right now there's just one more straight fairy I wanna try getting. So we are fortunately gonna have to backtrack a little bit, but once I do I'm at least trying to do it the the quick way though. So we're gonna mess one one more time. Just want to get into this room somewhere. Where's the hole? Sorry, where's the uh, hole? Sorry, I keep forgetting. Right in here. All right, we're good. So we need to make a dolphin jump up here. Hopefully, I can do it. All right. Uh, hopefully, I can do this soon. Because you have two options. You can either dolphin jump or you gotta make your way to. Ah oh, man, come on. Yeah, you can either dolphin jump or you gotta or you gotta make your way past the uh, room with the four switches. All right, unlocking this. Gives me another way to. Alright, nah, fine. I'll engage. Did I get hit at all? Like, I can't really tell. Anyway. Alright, so this is the ninth fairy. Now we can exit the dungeon. We'll have to come back to this dungeon a bit later. But it's not too bad. <laughs> Alright, now we just need to go to Clocktown real quick. Don't worry, we'll be we'll uh, be back. I mean this dungeon isn't going anywhere. Alright, let's so I'm gonna go back to Clocktown. Alright, first thing we're going to do is that we're actually going to go to the place where we got the cafe mask, but this time instead of going to, on the door on the right, we're going to take the door on the left. Just going to run. Ah, this guy's in the way. In that case, I'll just get the ma I'll just get one of the masks ready. Or can I just... Okay, good. Alright, so coming in here... Oh, we have a meeting. Most of the town folks already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and community members. Mr. Mayor and Carnival community members, please order the those who remain to evacuate. Uh, well, 
You coward! Do you actually believe, believe the moon will fall? The confused townsfolk simply caused a panic by believing this ridiculous groundless theory. The soldiers cannot prevent the panic, but outside the, the town walls are where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Um, well... Are you serious, M Moton? S sorry, if I butchered the name. It seems that that giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this... T at, at this time, every year, our... our we are overrun by tourists, so why is the uh, uh, why is the town empty? <sighs> Sorry, clearly it's your job to ensure the carnival's operations, but that but but that's if the people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and the soldiers into this. Mm, uh, well, if the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vincent. We councilmen will stick to our tradition. The carnival will be a success. I, I, I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Amora should surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dot to R? Let's not bring my wife into this. Man, I'm butchering those names. All must take refuge. On with the carnival. But I put on the couple's vest. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, uh, the couple's mess. What a nice reminder. So a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? What? What did you just say? Yes, yes, everyone. We are all worried for our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But Mr. Mayor, th this will this will do. Whenever you're, whatever you you're stubborn, and will stay on the guard with your family. Or if you prefer to run far away and seek shelter, that is for our people to decide on their own. Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are, adults are all so stubborn, it is shameful. Here's a token of my gratitude. And we get a piece of heart for it. Alright. So I'm just gonna cut to it's not when it's night, so I'll see you all there. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm basically at, over here at night. So hey, aren't you the guy that took the mask from Cafe? I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, chop this, you know, get a little bit of extra money. Always good. So I'm basically over here, and at 11:30, if you look at the time down there, there will be someone. And you can basically just do this on the first day, you know, if you ha if as soon as you turn back to human. Huh. It usually happens at midnight, so you know, just gotta wait a little bit. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> Come on, it's almost time. Uh, you know, I turned off the inverted song of time. Oh, also, I bought a, you know, some milk of Chateau Romani. You know, I'm just going to gulp this down. Unlimited magic for the entire three-day cycle. And, you know, you just go to the milk bar, you know, wear this cow hat. Oh, oh, the, yeah, this is, this is who I'm waiting for. You know, just... I'm sorry. Nah, it's all right. Yeah, I didn't mean to get in your way. So, you know, you just need, like, 200 ring, uh, rupees, sorry, not rings. <laughs> this isn't Sonic the Hedgehog. Ouch, watch out. Stop him, thief. Give the old lady back her luggage. I'll, I'll stop him. Arrow, away. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I think I killed him. <laughs> oh, my... You think it'll never happen to you? Well, no. I learned my lesson, and I thought we would finally be able to stock bomb bags in our shop. It's too bad. Nah, yeah, it's alright. Alright, so I'm just gonna end this off by, uh, going back to Stone Tower, because, uh, that's basically all we have to do. So, uh... 
So yeah, that's basically all we had to do, basically. Uh, we just stopped by the mayor, mayor, I just grabbed the bottle of Chateau Romani, and I killed Sakan. That's basically all I have to do, basic, uh, out here. So, uh... Uh, I'll show off the second, you know, the... I'll show off the, uh, second th thing in the dungeon real quick. So back to Stone Tower we go! Woo! Alright, so, uh, first things first, uh, I think there's some bombs over here. No, just some arrows. Yeah, just need some bombs. So I just... So I just need to get over there real quick. Come on. I wish... You know what, now I kind of wish that you can just skip songs. I mean, it wasn't that much of a bad, bad thing in uh, Ocarina of Time, but... I don't know, now it's starting to get me, get to me in Majora's Mask. Plus, I like doing Stone Tower at night. Uh, I don't know why. I'm, I guess I'm just weird. Uh, probably because of the next part. Because, uh... Because reasons. Alright, so just stand on this block right here. Or one of these blocks, whatever it is. And we're going to do the second half of the dungeon. So just move that block out of place. Come on, I actually played the song. Why didn't it go through? Because I was playing quickly? Alright, so just play your song right here. Then you're gonna bust out your light arrows. And you are actually gonna shoot this. This jewel right here. If I'm, if I'm close enough. Thank god I got unlimited magic. And, uh, this happens. Okay. So I'm gonna call the part right here. As you can see, the stone tower is upside down. So, uh, I'm just gonna grab the bunny hood real quick. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Paul Anthony Williams. You can call me Paul. And I'll see you all again next time. Have a good day, everybody.